Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, my name is Cody, and I'm here to just show you some of the things I did to my Cessna. This is a uh, Cessna 182 from Airfield. It's called the Sky Trainer. Uh, the first thing I did basically was update the landing gear because it was really, really bad. Uh, I don't have a really nice landing field or, or any type of uh, you know runway, so I traded out for these uh, Dubro um, Super Light. Uh, I'll show you the part numbers here in just a moment. It's the Dubro Super Light 3 inch wheels. I know 3 inch is a little overkill, but it's not overkill where I'm at. <laughs> so um, basically, you just basically unscrew the old uh, uh, wheel, wheel pants there, and you're going to just basically push these wheels on there. And there's a collar that goes on the end of there. Uh, and also, there's a, a little copper sleeve that you're going to put in there so the wheels aren't so flimsy and everything. Um, up front, the only thing I changed was the uh, the nose gear. Nose gear is really flimsy on these planes. There's been a lot of complaints about that, so I changed it up for a Dubro landing gear. Um, I'll show you the parts for that as well. The uh, front landing gear is actually just bent. I just put it on a vise. It, it normally comes straight. It's just normally straight down. So I basically put it on a vise and bent it at a 90 degrees. Um, and uh, I just sanded down a little bit on the top right inside of there so that way that collar would have something to actually um, butt up against and same thing there just a uh, collar on the side there and one on the side there and the only changes after that uh, I believe is I would always advise take these zip ties here you can get them anywhere and put them on, on, on these little uh, Basically, these control horns, they don't have a very good, they have a tendency to pop off. So just put you a zip tie right on there and, and that right there. Now, how to get these wheel pants off, there's just screws on the inside just like that. Pretty simple to take off. Once you get that off, they just come right loose. Um, here's that copper tubing I was telling you about. The size of the copper tubing, uh, let's see what size it is. Actually, it's a brass tubing, I apologize. It was like a doll or something. It was really cheap. Uh, it's 5 30 seconds by point z point 0.14. So it's basically 5 30 seconds tubing. And now the nose gear I'm talking about was a Dubro nose gear. Uh, it was like $5.39. It's going to save you a lot of hassle for $5.39. Um, basically, just take the part number for this, which is going to be 234. Take that to any of your hobby shops, large hobby shops. They can order it. They got it on stock most of the times. Use that. Now, the collars I've been using for basically um, keeping the wheels on, they're cheap as well, $1.89. Get you two or three packages of them. Use those. They're 330 seconds. Now, I did get 330 seconds, and you do have to drill them out with a drill bit. Um, just find the proper drill bit and just drill them out. It's a really simple process. Just do that. You know, If you have a, a drill and a drill bit, it's easy to do. Um, the next thing are the wheels I used were these 3 inch in diameter super light wheels uh, and also part number right there and part number for that right there. So if you guys have any questions, just message me. I'm, I, I watch YouTube videos every day. So, um, you know, if you guys have any questions or anything about this plane, let me know. Or if you've done some cool stuff, let me know. Uh, I just got a new DX7 radio at a trade show for 100 bucks. So i am just been kind of going through the quirks of learning how to do that and with the dual rates and expos and everything. So um, if you, like I said, if you guys have any questions, just look, let me know.